Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss 32 important points from the topic oral aspects of metabolic diseases. Now these are important from need point of view. Now we shall see the very first point. Delayed eruption is seen in the following conditions such as rickets or vitamin D deficiency, down syndrome, hypothyroidism, cleidocranial dysplasia, cherubism and achondroplasia. Point number 2. Veriform xanthoma is a condition where presence of large foamy cells in the connective tissue is seen between the papillae. Point number 3. human copper deficiency diseases of importance are hepatolenticular degeneration that is more oftenly called as wilson's disease and mink syndrome that is steely or kinky hair syndrome now the left corner image shows us the characteristic skin rash due to niacin deficiency especially in areas exposed to sunlight now this condition is called as kessel's necklace so that's going to be our fourth point now moving on to fifth point Edison's disease is due to insufficiency of adrenal cortex that shows deep chocolate pigmentation of oral mucosa. Point number 6, Cushing syndrome is produced by ACTH secreting tumors that also produce diffuse mucocutaneous pigmentation similar to adrenal insufficiency. Point number 7, the systemic disease that may increase oral melanosis is Albright syndrome. Point number 8 hypophosphatasia is a condition where deficiency of enzyme alkaline phosphatase along with excretion of phosphoethanolamine in urine and absence of cementum is seen whereas hypophosphatemia is vitamin D resistant rickets point number 9 osteomalacia is a condition where defect is seen in newly formed organic bone matrix Point number 10 rickets is a condition where defect is seen in the mineralization of endochondral newborn point number 11 deficiency of vitamins a c d causes enamel hypoplasia point number 12 alcoholic patients with chronic thiamine deficiency show cns manifestations such as vernix encephalopathy now along with this if there is loss of memory as well it is known as vernix korakoff syndrome now that's going to be a point number 13 now moving on to point number 14 in porphyria deciduous and permanent teeth may show a red or brownish discoloration and exhibit red fluorescence point number 15 hurler cells or gogel cells that is abnormal fibroblasts are the characteristic histological finding of hurler syndrome whereas in cytoplasm of circulating lymphocytes we find metachromatic granules or really bodies point number 16 claw hands broadening of mandible with a wide intergonial distance are features of hurler syndrome point number 17 raw beefy tongue and ball tongue of sandwich is associated with niacin deficiency Point number 18 magenta color tongue is associated with riboflavin deficiency point number 19 molars glossitis or hunter's glossitis is associated with vitamin b12 deficiency point number 20 the old term histocytosis x is replaced by new term called langer hands cell histiocytosis that is lch The presence of Burbix granules is the characteristic finding in Langerhans cell histiocytosis. Point number 21, generalized gingival inflammation, profuse salivation and scalding of skin from palm and foot is associated with heavy metal poisoning or toxicity. Now lead, mercury, bismuth and arsenic are the metals that cause heavy metal poisoning or toxicity. these get deposited in the oral tissues and extravasate in areas of chronic inflammation now additional to this the systemic signs and symptoms that may include are behavioral changes neurologic disorders intestinal pain and siluria point number 22 diabetes insipidus bone lesions and exophthalmos is seen in hand schiller 
Christian disease. Point number 23. Giant cells are characteristic histopathologic finding in the case of brown tumor of hyperparathyroidism. Point number 24. Bone pain, bone, cysts, fractures and renal stones are characteristics of hyperparathyroidism. Point number 25. Hypogonadism, developmental delay, loss of taste and smell is due to deficiency of zinc. Point number 26. Increase in height of mandible with increase in interdental spaces in elderly man is due to hyperpituitarism. Point number 27. The normal serum calcium level is 9 to 11 mg percentage. Now point number 28. Lamina dura is lost or partially lost in the case of hyperparathyroidism. Point number 29. Tetany is associated with a low concentration of ionized calcium in the serum. Point number 30. Intestinal absorption of calcium is decreased by phytic acid. Point number 31. Amyloid can be demonstrated by special stains like Congo red, violet and thioflavin T fluorescent technique. Point number 32. Congo red staining is the gold standard for the diagnosis of amyloidosis. Biopsy is usually taken from the gingiva or the rectal tissue or any other suspected involved tissue. Now here amyloid shows apple green bi under polarized light. Thank you.